Are you going to post a question on us and then we will be answering or something? Exactly. Wow. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel, The Rajore Clan. So we are here today with my friends. They are from Netherlands. They relocated from Kenya to Netherlands and we want to hear the story. What they actually, how they came, how is it to live in Netherlands? And they are Kenyans. We used to work together at the Cooperative Bank of Kenya, and they're here to visit us and to tell us their story. And they also have two boys like us. So, guys, let me show you. Let me show you my people. Let me show you my people. Hi, guys. Welcome, people from Netherlands. Say hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Are you are you from Netherlands? From Netherlands. <laughs> Straight out of Nera. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can introduce yourself and tell us who you are. Mm -hmm. And welcome to our channel, first of all. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very here. much. So tell us your name, yeah. tell us about yourself, so that we get to know you and before you even reach to like telling us where you're from and everything. So just mm -hmm. tell, introduce yourself. Okay. Yeah, my name is Collins Kemboy uh, from Kenya. Right now I live in Netherlands. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a software developer. Nice. Uh, an integration engineer. Nice. I've been doing this for like six years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So and who's your beautiful lady over here? <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourself. Uh, okay, I'm Brenda. Mm -hmm. And um, also I'm here in the Netherlands. Oh, oh, oh. I feel like we should yeah. cut that. It's okay, it's fine. Just okay. continue. Don't talk about So I'm Brenda. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm also a software developer, mm -hmm. integrations developer to be precise. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've been here in the Netherlands for two years now. Nice. Yeah. Nice think, introduction. Yeah. So are you a couple? How did you come to Netherlands? Yeah, okay. Both, both, both engineers met. Uh, married. Imagine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Marriage of engineers. We do the same thing. That is a funny th thing. Huh. It's a nice household. Exactly the same she thing. Yeah. Me. <laughs> like who, who motivated the other? That's the question. I think I motivated him, right? Yeah, you do. That's you did. 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 He did. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. So we are uh, married. Traditionally married. Nice. We have not done the white wedding. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll do it someday. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So you, where are you from? Originally, we are from Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Eldoret. Oh, nice. Both of you? Yeah. Not really. Oh, okay, we are married in Eldoret. Like, my home is Bomet County. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, and you, Collins? Eldoret. 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 Ah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, before you tell us how you met, we want to get your story from actually how you, before you came to Netherlands. Yes. Tell us about your, your career path. Mm -hmm. So, you'll start with you, Brenda. Mm -hmm. Tell us your career path mm -hmm. and how you got yourself to Netherlands. Oh, wow. That's a long story. I don't know. Are you ready to like... Yes. Okay. For me, I studied IT in mm -hmm. campus. Mm -hmm. uh, Wait. Mm -hmm. oh, for me, I studied IT in campus mm -hmm. and then uh, in 2018 is when I began working. Mm -hmm. That is an internship. I started doing an internship in some company for one year. Mm -hmm. Then I proceeded to another company where I started doing integrations. Nice. The other one I wasn't doing integration, so mm -hmm. I started doing IBM integrations. And then I just really started loving integration so much. And um, that is when I, I did integrations, <laughs> IBM integrations for two years. That mm -hmm. is in KCB Bank. And then the CB Bank in Nairobi. In yeah, Kenya. yeah, uh -huh. yeah. We were working with another company called Bring Global. Yeah. So this Bring Global is a consultant company where it can take you to different clients. Yes, for yes, me, yes. I was second to a uh, bank. That is oh, KCB Bank. Okay. Yeah. Just like uh, uh, what do you call it? Where I've forgotten the right term. Mm. Where another company. It's uh, a brings, consultancy yeah. company where like it has a lot of clients. Okay. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. So it has. It was okay. It had almost I don't know three banks mm. at that time. Uh, okay, so for me I was lucky to go to KCB, mm. and before I went to KCB, mm. bring 
decided to train us mm. as integration developers. I didn't even know what integration yeah, they, is. Must be very uh, brainy, I tell you. They trained us to do IBM integration. Yeah. Uh -huh. What is we, IBM integration, if I ask? IBM for for, an, for an somebody who does not not so tech savvy. Okay, so uh, nowadays there's okay, there's a, a technology called integration. Yeah. So and we have different tools to yeah. use. Yeah. You can use IBM tools. You yeah. can use Oracle tools. You can use Tip tools you can use mules of tools yeah. so it's just a tool to do development okay. yeah actual development that is done in a bank for okay. yeah so yeah we will dig deep into that but um, so they trained me mm. for close to almost six months mm. as they look for a client to place me. Mm. At that time, they didn't find a client. Mm. So for me, because, uh, okay, I'm this girl, I'm very aggressive, mm. so I decided to look for a client myself. Girl Imagine. Do it, huh? Yes, why not? <laughs> All right. So I, I looked around, also I yeah. like to make connections, <laughs> yes. and, and then I asked someone, can I come to your company and practice this IBM integrations I've been learning? So where were you getting, where were you getting this? companies to actually ask them this question okay i know mm -hmm. that my company that is bring it's called bring global used to work with this company mm -hmm. but at the moment we don't have work uh -huh. so like the all the contracts so you are didn't wait for them to actually post yes, like because you, do you they, have something for me you yes know? i just oh, said because nice. uh, there's a time bring was working with you mm -hmm. i know you use this uh, technology uh -huh. can i come and just nice. practice as I wait for to be placed somewhere. That's aggressive. That's my, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just aggressive. That nice. is who I am. Yeah, yeah. Let's walk so, as we chat. Yeah. Apart from all this and uh, working in Kenya and everything, how did you get to yourself mm. that telling yourself that I want to go now abroad? Did you ever mm. think that you would work in Netherlands, so to say, now that you're in Netherlands? No, no, no. I never thought of even working outside the country. Wow. So yeah. how did it come? Just, how did it go about it? The right question should be unto him because mm -hmm. he's the one that actually or more be just ah, let me just use that word so you use family country. reunion yeah come my guy <laughs> yeah this oh, is where he comes in now awesome awesome yeah. Oh. Yeah. so collins <laughs> yeah now because she's told us a story in kenya and how she's actually worked in kenya and got all these opportunities so for you to get an opportunity in netherlands you are sure enough she's also going to get an opportunity so how did you get this opportunity to get to Netherlands so that you can get family reunion? Because I know you did family reunion for you to come with your husband, your wife and your kids. Yeah. So how did you get this opportunity yeah, in Netherlands? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so uh, around uh, 2021, mm -hmm. I got an opportunity on uh, on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, oh. you were reached. Yeah, you, ah, you get a DM. I reached out to yeah, you. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Get a mm -hmm. DM on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, LinkedIn. Oh, hey, what you are LinkedIn? Man, the mm. power. <laughs> Actually, I would say mm -hmm. it's not easy to. It wasn't easy for me. If you True. apply for a job, yeah, most likely you'll never yeah. uh, get a response. Get yeah. a response, or you get a negative response. Yeah. Mm. So the best thing I would say, just make sure your profile on LinkedIn is up to date. Top notch. Yeah. Update all your relevant experiences. Mm -hmm. Now, actually, be good what you do yeah yes, because yes. if they reach out to you now you don't pass the interview exactly yeah. very true yeah so you get a, a dm on linkedin you follow up on it mm -hmm. first of all i ignored because mm -hmm. they reach out with very very vague it looks it looks vague yeah like yeah hey. uh -huh. yeah that time i was actually on a wedding i think i showed you mm -hmm. i just got another job mm -hmm. like, yeah, like you're not. Yeah. Yeah, so, not what into... made you go for it and acquire more? Because I've had friends who are like, somebody came to me on LinkedIn, I was like, ah, their offer is not yeah, good, or maybe. So, yeah. what what was that thing that this recruiter say that you. Yeah, you came back further? again. So, most oh, of really? the, yeah, they, they came back again. Hi, okay. did you look at my offer? Nice. Yeah, then I decided. And then they were, they were aggressive on a like mm -hmm. They tell you, mm -hmm. can we have just a fast meeting? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. so from there now they convince you and mm -hmm. yeah. tell you more about the offer yeah. the job and then they tell you you mm -hmm. can go with your family mm -hmm. so the recruiter yeah. told you all these things up from before you even started any interview that was the first interview the recruiter and he told you all these things that before this job yeah, those, those, the first interview is just mm -hmm. to get to know each other mm -hmm. and, uh, getting to know because you're mm -hmm. actually relocating it's not mm -hmm. just a job offer yes, so exactly. of course those are things you have to ask mm -hmm. what happens to this 
And you told me that the offer, the job was six months contract. Tell me about the offer. Tell me about the six months contract. <laughs> because for me, I wouldn't think that someone would relocate to a different country for six months offer. Yeah. I only had to relocate because the offer was unlimited contract. Oh, you know, oh, yes, I wow. could. Uh, if someone came to me with six months, I wouldn't have been uplifted my family yeah. to go to a different yeah, country. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. what made you take this offer and be like, I will go even if it's six months and with your whole family? Um, yeah, so... Uh, remembering back then, yeah, uh, yeah, they told me six months, but mm -hmm. after like a few days, they said, Ah, six months is too little. Mm -hmm. They also thought by themselves that it doesn't make sense, yeah, it was a bit risky. We mm -hmm. actually discussed with the hiring manager, mm -hmm. he said that it's a bit it's risky, too risky, mm -hmm. even for him. Mm -hmm. So he was like, Maybe you should come alone first, mm -hmm. uh, not with your family, mm -hmm. but after a, a while, I didn't. They reconsidered and mm -hmm. uh, made it a one-year contract. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. one thing you need to know, eh, we are Africans, <laughs> somehow. Yeah. So I don't know if it's our level of uh, work at mm -hmm. home or something, but there's always that element of trust. Mm -hmm. You're not sure you're not sure you will you will uh, do as expected here, mm -hmm. and there, and also you you don't know if you will come here and uh, meet the work and. Mm -hmm. live and like this place. So mm -hmm. there's that risk for both sides, for mm -hmm. both sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. So it was a one year contract and then after one year they made it permanent. Oh, that, yeah. that's great. Yeah. So after one year that's when you are sure that it's permanent and you continue. Yeah, but uh, regardless, I would still have gone because mm -hmm. some, it depends also with my personality, mm -hmm. curiosity. Yeah. I had worked in Kenya for a long time, mm -hmm. so and that I just wanted a, a challenge. Yeah, yeah, that's a dream that you've always, yeah, I've always wanted. wanted to. Yeah. It's like forever, since I met yeah. him, he mm -hmm. just was talking about going, going to abroad. abroad. Yeah, mm -hmm. really? so it's like he yeah. was fulfilling. Because yeah. even that is the yeah. first thing he told me, that like, I've got this kind of contract. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, I just told him, oh, no, 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 yeah. there's nothing like that, we mm -hmm. are not living in it. Mm -hmm. So just allow me to do this, because this is a dream that I've wanted yeah. for so long. And here we are. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, if you yeah. want it, if you really want something, mm -hmm. somehow too, the universe will conspire to yeah. make it to you. Yeah. The, the power of my just wanted to Yeah, you uh, are told to do it scared. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> like Good, if you wait for something that is so comfortable, so luxurious and mm. so lucrative, mm -hmm. I, imagine if I waited for a permanent contract. <laughs> yes. Huh? Maybe yeah. never have come. Ten years contract paying wow. me a hundred thousand euros. <laughs> yeah. Where would you get that? Yeah, something? just yeah. like that. Yeah. So now we're in Germany. You're in Netherlands. Netherlands oh, actually, yeah. guys, we're in Germany. They came all the way to Germany. To Germany from Netherlands to come and see the Rajore Clan. Mande. We are making dreams come true, guys. So that's why we bring you these stories yeah. that people can actually relocate from their country to come and work in Europe, yeah. the entire Europe. So when you so tell us life about Netherlands because as we're in Germany, yeah. we don't know the life in Germany. So how is the life in Netherlands? Wow, 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 <laughs> wow. Life in Netherlands uh, at the moment mm -hmm. is good. Mm -hmm. When we came, oh. It was okay, culture shock. Mm -hmm. Everything was just different. Mm -hmm. You're missing home. Mm -hmm. Oh, it wasn't easy for us. Mm -hmm. The weather. Mm -hmm. We came when it was summer, shortly, winter kicked in. And, and it was not easy. The first year was really tough for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Starting to catch up the language difference, the language barrier. Mm -hmm. Mm, but after the, this is the second year, we are in the third year, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the second year was much better. Things are really looking good. Mm -hmm. For me, I came when I did have a job, mm -hmm. you can imagine. Mm -hmm. So the first year was really hard for me because mm -hmm. I kept just looking, looking for, for jobs. Looking for jobs and mm -hmm. getting rejections left, right and mm -hmm. center. Mm -hmm. It was really tough. Mm -hmm. The and were you looking for jobs that are they need the Dutch language or are you looking for English speaking jobs? Definitely, I wanted English speaking job. Mm -hmm. I could not speak Dutch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's no way I would even. Applause. Yeah, mm -hmm. I really wanted an international company. And an international company. Okay. Yeah, so the second year things started looking good for me because I got a job mm -hmm. and they yeah, started working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things started. And then also starting to love the culture and everything mm -hmm. slowly by slowly and mm -hmm. yeah, I can say right now life is just okay, way okay, way better. Would you have can you switch and say like I, I I wish I wouldn't have come to Netherlands? 
Would you, is this is this something that you will ever say now that you've been here for three never, years? Never, I can mm -hmm. never say just such a thing because mm -hmm. I look at it in many ways mm -hmm. in terms of even how we have grown mm -hmm. in terms of professionally mm -hmm. and even socially mm -hmm. and everything, getting mm -hmm. to know other cultures, getting mm -hmm. to appreciate other people true. for who they are. True, true, true. It's really an expanded us. Mm -hmm. uh, like we see the world even in a different angle right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Our careers are picking up, mm -hmm. starting to learn different things. Mm -hmm. huh? You come from Kenya thinking you really know a lot. I eh? know, right? And then you are <laughs> the almost Chinese. reduced to nothing, to reduced to zero. <laughs> And then you are like, you really have to work. Yes, uh, yes. I really appreciate this mm -hmm. moment in our lives. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. There's a step we have actually skipped. Uh -huh. The visa step. Because it's funny how the contract I is six months. He has to see his part first. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. tell us about your contract. Your contract is six months. Yeah. So how, how did you get this visa? For Actually, how did you get the embassy to give you the visa? Considering it's just a six months contract. And then usually tricky when you don't have unlimited contract and they'll be like, how come six months we cannot give you the visa, yeah. especially with family? Yeah. Yeah. So how was it in the embassy with that, with that kind of contract? Mm -hmm. So first of all, it's not a six months contract. Mm -hmm. I signed a one year contract. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. And second of all, uh, funny enough, our visa story is different. Yes, mm -hmm. very different. For us, mm -hmm. we just went to the embassy, mm -hmm. we submitted our documents mm -hmm. and got a passport within two days. The visa, yeah, visa within two days. days. Yeah. No, Netherlands is what that happens yeah. is our employer did everything for us. Ah. We were just sent to the embassy. So you didn't even book an appointment in the we, the portal. They booked it for us. They booked it for us. Okay. Uh, they did everything. Uh, uh, yeah, they did everything. Oh, wow. yeah. It depends also on the employer. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. For us, the, the employer works with a consultant. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a what's the name of the consultant? It's called as we work with expert. What is it called? I don't remember. The company but you came in with. Something people. Yeah. yeah. Or oh, they help you also settle and everything. Of yes, yeah. people. It's called of yes people. people. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. yeah, they help you settle. Yeah, so, ah. they, so they really it's a really good company. Yeah. They do everything for you. Mm -hmm. As we were just told to show up in the So it's possible to get a one year contract and be given a visa to relocate. Yes, yeah. I think That's because amazing. they knew yeah, but most yeah. probably yeah. we were not going to go back. Ah. Most probably they would just renew it. Also ah. yeah, the it's very interview good. process is not that easy. So mm -hmm. by yeah. the time you're selected. Yeah, you have, you have to be a real Smart. Yeah. Also, if, if mm -hmm. somebody wants to locate to the Netherlands with that company, mm -hmm. uh, talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that part is coming. That part is coming. Relax. So, yeah. what were the kind? Were you asked any questions in the embassy? Mm. Yeah. You just submitted your documents, yeah. and that, that was, was it. Was it. Maybe yeah. it's the Netherlands embassy. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not a really busy embassy mm -hm. the way you think. Mm -hmm. you you have US, a, the UK. Mm -hmm. You have a job uh, easy. offer. Mm -hmm. I think it's easy when it's you have a job over. Yeah, when you have a job over. It's a formality. Mm -hmm. it's a so formality. they didn't ask you when were you married? Yeah. It's so that you're bringing just a lady to go with her in Netherlands. Oh, maybe the documentation oh, that was also done process. by a different person. No, you did, uh, we, uh, we did the documentation. Mm -hmm. What did you do with the documentation? Which of part? course, you need to provide your marriage certificate. Yeah. And do you have to certify your marriage certificate? Yeah. Yes. That, okay. Actually, that's a whole process. That yeah. you have to do it on your own. Yes, yes. yes we have to no, do it the on your own. The company will certify your no, documents. No. So they ask you to you do it them and then you submit to the embassy. Cinematic ones. Yeah. Yeah. 14 or 15? 15. Ah, 14. <laughs> 15 or 15. We have to buy 16, by the way. Sinatokan, soon. We have to buy for content. Yeah, we have to buy for content. Police? I think I can be a director by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please, you can buy. You can buy. You can buy. I can be a director by the way. Director, Director, what was the what was the visa process for you have to doc, uh, what is it called certify some of these yes, documents yes, yes, yeah. yeah so which are the documents that you had to certify for you to take to the embassy 
So uh, birth certificates, mm -hmm. very important. Yeah. For who? For all, everyone. Everyone. Ah, you have yeah. to certify by it. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a process, by the way, in Kenya at that time. Mm -hmm. We used to take it to this office, mm -hmm. this office. Mm -hmm. yeah. It takes like two weeks. Yeah. You need mm -hmm. to consider that. Mm -hmm. Also, your um, birth certificates. Marriage then, certificate. Marriage certificate. You certify if you're citizen. not married, you, you have to prove that both of you are not married to another person. Uh -huh. Yeah. Else. So mm -hmm. you take uh, there's a document called certificate of no impediment. Ah. Yeah. Take so that is what month. we got actually because mm -hmm. we are not married. Uh, like we don't have a marriage certificate. Oh, so we have a certificate nice. of no impediment. Nice. That's yeah. a very important information by yeah. the way because you've never covered that part of not married. Someone mm -hmm. asked me if you're not married, how can you come and you're not legally married? That is good information. Yeah. So where do you get this document? Get it. You apply on the citizen, mm -hmm. uh, but it takes like a month. And then so you apply asking for what on e citizen? Certificate no, of no impediment. impediment to marriage. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, no impediment to so marriage. both of you are just one. What does one it person. mean by the way? It means mm -hmm. there's no no one has said they want to marry you in Kenya oh. and you have refused. Yeah. So you are like a single person, yeah. Yeah. and you have not been divorced before. Yeah, yeah. and it it's not like matter. we are running away from yeah. someone. Uh, no? Even if yeah. the divorce is fine, you could divorce, but yeah. someone is not saying that you're married to them. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You're exactly, away. exactly. Both go with another Correct. person. So yes. both of you do it, or just one person? One both. 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 Oh, you and you pay, and you pay 10 k each. each. Wow. It's very it expensive, and it takes no more than one month. Wow, took us like forever. I remember you we were anything. supposed to relocate uh, April. Uh -huh. We relocated July wow. because of that certificate. Yeah, it takes yeah. time. Yeah, it takes time. That's very good information, guys. Yeah. So if you're not married and you want to relocate with your partner, yeah. certificate of what? No impediment. No impediment. You don't have to rush and uh, look nice. for marriage certificates. Yes. You can just relax. Yeah. Very yeah. good yeah. information. Yeah. To know agenda, guys. Manzi. So apart from so those are the certificates for verification. And what Marriage. else? What? What else were you taking to the embassy? Because these are documents that passport. that company is not doing it. So you have mm -hmm. to to certify your passport. You have to certify. No, 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 no. You have to have passport, passport actually. Have have passport. And we didn't have passport. So we like okay, be at the now put after passport and mm -hmm. you know Kenya. Of course. It can take almost people. forever. We paid people yeah. to get the passport. Yeah. Yeah. An important Within information. If you are not married, mm -hmm. you sh you should have this three together for like two years. Oh yeah. Yeah. But not just pick somebody yeah. and say uh -huh. that. this is my you have to show oh. flight. So, what is the evidence that you have to show that you live yeah. together for two years? For us, we, the most important thing was that we had done a, a traditional marriage. Uh -huh. So photos, we showed all the photos, all that if, evidence that we've been together yeah, for like more than a year. Photos, we have a child together. So take, take photos. Yeah. Yeah. Take photos mm. with your partner if you want to relocate with them in future. And yeah. maybe by that time you're not make, married, make sure you put memories. Yeah, you know, yeah. So that you verify. Because I realize that you put memories so that you verify. Because I realize that to get visas, even to write someone a letter for them to come here, I have to show that I've been friends with this person. Exactly. I have to prove that I've show been friends. Photos. People exactly. keep telling me, oh, can you write for me a letter so that I come to to Germany with the chance Kate? Because mm. if you don't have the 11,000, they you can write a letter. Someone oh. here can write for them a letter. Oh. And I'm like, nice. I cannot because I also have to prove no, that I know you personally. Really, yeah. We have been friends, so I have to show photos. So embassy... It's not a joke. You have to actually. Prove. I think that is a very important point. Yes. Even when we were getting an affair, mm -hmm. just sorry to digress, mm -hmm. we had to also show no. what is the relationship we have. Eh? Wow. Is it someone you know? You want to come and, and trust this person to come and take care of your kids, for example. Yes. Where are the photos? Nice Where is she? Yeah. That is, that is awesome. A, a awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What else do we need to know oh. from Netherlands? What else? So, what's what advice can you tell someone who is in Kenya, who is in India, who is in the US, who is in anywhere in the world, and they want to relocate to the Netherlands, specifically to the Netherlands? What advice can you give this person? I, I don't know why they would specifically pick the Netherlands. <laughs> because you live in the Netherlands, you're telling about your experience in the yeah. Netherlands. Yeah. Exactly. So, first of all, learn the language, start learning the language. Yeah. So, even if you, do, if you, if you just have a dream, mm -hmm. just start learning the language. Mm -hmm. It will help you when you go there. Mm -hmm. Another thing, it's a small country mm -hmm. as compared to maybe other European countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the concept of distance is a bit, uh, a place for like two hours is the whole country, wow. the distance of the whole country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're from India, a very big continent. Mm -hmm. Short and sweet. Yeah. But also, um, yeah, they speak English. So if you speak English, you're... Sorry to cut you short. So, did yeah. you go to Netherlands knowing the German? The, no, no, no. So, I had no language. intentions of going to the Netherlands. Uh huh. Specifically. So, so, in short, the company that you work for, 
they speak English. Yeah. yeah. They don't. Nice. It's an international company. Uh -huh. yeah. So focus is, is is international companies if you do not want to learn the language. Exactly. Yeah. But learning the language will help you in your yeah. day to day life. Yes. In, yes. In yes, 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 yes. Actually, if you don't know the language, you are not most likely not be, will not be considered in a mm -hmm. in, in a job in offer India. in a co in a Dutch company. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But if you know the language. You have a higher chance. Yeah. Very high chance. Very high yeah. chance. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Another thing, if you really want, you can also just book a travel ticket, go there to visit the city, mm -hmm. travel around, and see mm -hmm. if you like it. Mm -hmm. Don't come there to work and then you realize I don't like this place. Mm -hmm. I want to move to Germany. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then it's a long, a long, a long process to do it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. What can you? Someone maybe else. something that has not been said for me i'll say for maybe young professionals who are starting up in their career and they really want for example even to try out netherlands mm -hmm. you can look at the opportunities like opea mm -hmm. they give you an opportunity to come and see the culture see if it's a place you will want to even start your career in or something yeah mm -hmm. it's something that i don't know most kenyans don't seem to know this is available mm -hmm. in most of the european countries yeah also, something I can say is, if you are looking to come to Netherlands, for example, to do something, mm -hmm. start knowing even the technologies that are uh, maybe common or something that, that is being done. And most look at the jobs that are here, start learning about it by even doing certifications. Mm -hmm. They really want to see that you are doing something about it, you are learning and you have that skill. So you have to work and put in work in that skill really show that you have that skill yeah awesome yeah if awesome. that is if you are coming for work if you are coming to have fun enjoy it's a beautiful country mm -hmm. just come hmm? yes i think that's that's the that's sorry for another time, right? for another time yeah, yeah so guys hoping this video has helped you understand that it's possible to relocate to netherlands to relocate to germany to relocate to any country in the eu because i've realized every most of the countries in the eu the rules are, are the same when it comes to relocating people yeah sometimes they need language sometimes they don't need language so our story is the same we came with job offers without knowing the language for that specific country yeah. so and we used which platform linkedin linkedin, LinkedIn, LinkedIn is, is your powerful exactly yeah. recruiters powerful. will approach you yes. so like i said customize your linkedin to be top notch you'll yes. be approached on linkedin and you'll do the interviews and you'll be relocated to the European countries. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this video and you have more questions, comment below, share with your friends how to come to Europe, how to come to Netherlands, how to come to any European country to work as a skilled worker. Yes. And it's possible to look at and get a job. It's very, very possible. possible, guys. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Until next time. Ciao. Bye. Bye.